Good morning everybody and uh, this is your Forex day trade setups for today. So uh, the range that we were looking at yesterday is still very much in play. Um, you can see the sellers coming in off the top here. And if we just scroll to the left, and I'm probably going to have to go to a bigger time frame. Nope. So if you just scroll to the left, you're going to see that there is quite a bit of support, what was support, and it is now resistance. So that is the area that has been tested. And uh, if you just drop to the weekly, you'll see quite a bit of weekly um, support that was in this area. You can see you can go back quite far. So that is going to be challenged. It's going to be continually challenged until it either gives way properly or we break back above it and find support on it. So at the moment, uh, trend is down on the hour. You are looking to sell into this. This is an area that I'd be interested in selling. You can see we got just above it yesterday and then came back down. But uh, the rate of it is still the same as yesterday. Until we break through this blue block convincingly, this is in a sideways motion. So you need to be very cautious about it. Could flip, could turn, come up to this area at 110.651, um, possibly even a bit higher as well if it breaks through this range. So uh, just pay attention. If it breaks the range, you want it to break up, come back, find support. Um, you want some of the moving averages cross over. You won't get the 155, but you'll definitely get the other two crossing over. Um, and that'll give you a first target of the 155 EMA. Anyway, um, wait and see, I think is the story there. Moving on to US dollar, Japanese yen. Uh, we have a break above this triangle. So triangle, I suppose, let me rephrase that. Uh, we have a breakthrough one of the levels of the triangle. There is another level roughly where, whoops, not there, roughly where we are now. You can see quite a bit of interaction there. Ignore this uh, breakthrough uh, and that one. These, this is the area you're looking for. So um, if we do get above this, come back and find support, I would take that as triangle broken. If we don't, and we start rolling down, then there is an opportunity for a short back down to uh, the structure, which is this trend line. If you look at it on the hour, you'll see oscillators are a little bit tired. We do have a crossover yesterday and we came back to test it twice. So I'd say we are building uh, some momentum here for a move to the upside. So uh, pay attention to this area. I think uh, pull back down into 115.728. And if we can hold it, um, and we can get a decent tight enough stop loss. I think it's a great opportunity for a long tight stop low, whatever structure forms on that level. So pin bars, inside bars, uh, engulfing bars. And then you're looking for a, well, you're looking to anticipate a break above 115.820. And if that happens, I think you've got uh, kind of blue skies ahead of you. You can see uh, you may get held up a little bit with the previous top but if you look at that whole structure there you've got a massive cup and handle you've got uh, could be seen as a head inverse head and shoulders as well but anyway it is a triangle as far as i'm concerned so break through this area then you're looking for 116.356 um, moving on to pound and british pound japanese yen nothing much happened yesterday still bouncing around between the levels i gave you and uh, if we look at um, the one hour you'll see clear range so um, pretty much the same as yesterday we need to break below 151 490 and uh, stay below there so break and retest for continuation to the downside or we need to break above 152 181 to target the next level which is 153 so um, that's kind of the narrative there until it breaks through that i'm staying far away from that lastly euro british pound so um Remember, we've got these weekly levels here. Both these uh, levels that I've given you yesterday are both weekly levels. So at the moment, we have broken through, but look at the sellers here. So uh, kind of messy, to be honest. Uh, you would have expected us to reject this area yesterday. We didn't. It was big up, big down, big up, big down, big up. Big confusion, lots of diversions on the hour. Uh, I wouldn't be chasing long just yet. Uh, I think yeah, if we can come back onto the weekly levels and find some decent support, uh, some will argue that that is support, but that is volatile. When your bars are that big, your candlesticks are that big, it just indicates volatility and confusion. So 
For me, I think I'm going to sit on the side and wait this one out as well. So anyway, um, US dollar Japanese yen looks like a, a good opportunity at the moment, but the other three that I look at, uh, uh, nothing much worth chasing for me right now. Anyway, that's kind of my view today. I hope it helps and we will catch up with you uh, tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.